Welcome back to the channel everybody and today we are doing baby back ribs but we're gonna do them over charcoal and finish them a different way and it works great and anybody can do this so hang on and honestly the hard part about cooking over charcoal is actually just getting it started because you've got to wait you know half an hour 40 minutes till that charcoal is up to temperature and where you want it but that's the fun of it so I've already cleaned out the my little makeshift barbecue and this is some leftover charcoal but we're gonna what I like to do is start a little fire in here and let that fire ignite the charcoal. I'm doing it like this, it works, it's fun. Great way to use up any uh, leftover wood if you have any. And charcoal's messy. I use lump charcoal. That's why I'm wearing gloves, just because it's uh, much easier to clean up. All I'm gonna do now is take some fresh charcoal and then put it around. I don't like using any of the lighter fluid or anything like that. I want to keep that as clean as possible. Keep any chemicals out that we can. So all we're going to do now right now I'm just going to Feed it a little bit more, get it going really good, and then just let it burn down. Oh, and I hope you like the, the way I'm shooting today because I got tired of using the, <laughs> the brick background. I figured it's summer. Let's show uh, off some green. It's just a beautiful day. Get out there and cook people. It's been going like 35 minutes. It's practically where I want it. But be very careful, people, because it this kicks off a lot of heat. So what I'm gonna do, because I have no way of actually controlling the temperature here, only by distance. So I'm gonna spread them out. It is hot. Yes, I know, it's makeshift, but it works. Nobody said it's pretty. Put you like this. So now all we're gonna do now is let that grill get hot, burn off anything, and let's get the ribs out and prep them. Got these racks outside, they're beautiful, baby back ribs. And just a little background. The reason I'm doing this is because not everybody has a smoker, and in the smoker you're gonna do the ribs three to four hours, but you need a smoker. I've had people ask, how can I do them? And I've been working on this. So what we're gonna do, essentially, is brown off the ribs over charcoal, give them all that nice charred flavor, and then we're gonna wrap them in, in aluminum foil with a little bit of butter, and then finish them off in the oven. I have the oven preheating. It's at 315, and they're gonna take about 45 minutes, and that's it. And the, and we'll show you, but that's essentially what we're doing. And like always, I take the, the membrane off the rib side because I just don't want it on there. This one wasn't trimmed very well, but that's okay. I'm gonna just clean it up. And I'm just taking my normal rub, salt, pepper, garlic, and ancho chili. Put a nice healthy covering. You still want all that flavor though, so that's why we're doing this. That's it. And I'm gonna start with the rib side down. Boom and boom. And like I said, now all we're doing 
is getting it to the color we want of that charred that charredness that we want on the outside of the ribs they're not going to be cooked that's why we're going to put them in the oven and when you're doing this i do not recommend walking away because this will happen quite quick and you can burn them very quickly if you're not paying attention oh beautiful they got nice color on them already we want more though we want more of that flavor that's why we're doing this and it does get quite smoky so uh, just uh, be aware of that but it's fun though you're doing it outside that's the whole reason enjoy your food and make it fun oh yeah coming along i want a little bit more though anyways at this point we're just going to keep flipping them till we get that desired charredness that we want okay i think it's time to flip again oh yeah look at that mm. beautiful i can't wait so I ripped off some uh, aluminum foil already. They are where I want them to be, which is perfect. Now all we're gonna do, take some butter, put it in here. One. So there we go. I'm just gonna put them on here because they are hot. And to the oven we go, we're going, it's at 315, 45 minutes, 50 minutes, and then we'll be back. We're back. They were in for 45 minutes at 315, and I've let them sit out for about 10 minutes just because I don't want them scorching hot and let's just open one let's do this oh, look at they are still hot but so now they are it's hard to handle them Mm. They are super tender. It, the meat just falls off. Ow, hot. Mm. As you can see, it just comes right off. Beautiful. Personally, this is how I like ribs. I like them tender, but I don't like them like pulled pork. If I wanted that, I'm going to make it. You still have to... You can still bite the meat. There's some bite to it, but it's super tender. Mm. just comes off the bone beautiful fantastic that bark that char is such a great flavor mixed in with that uh that rub i put on it's beautiful look at that just comes off i'm super happy how they turn out this way they turn out like this every time but there again depending on your oven you might need to leave them in a few minutes longer, but basically I run it 315 for 45 to 50 minutes, pull them out, let them rest for about 10 to 15 minutes, and they're good to serve. Well, everybody, enough of me blabbing here. Uh, go try your ribs this way. You'll be very happy with them. I gotta go eat now, I'm hungry. Thanks for watching, show some support, leave me your comments, and uh, happy eating.